Welcome to part 3 of MTBS's 2011 3D Buying Guide. I'm Neil Schneider. In this segment, we're going to focus on stereoscopic 3D gaming on PC. Now, PC games have the advantage that they don't have to be designed for stereoscopic 3D to actually work in 3D. Games are already rendered in what we call volumetric 3D, which means that they have X, Y, and Z coordinates, but they only have one camera perspective. To make stereoscopic 3D gaming work effectively, we actually need two separate camera views. So stereoscopic 3D drivers, what they do is, while a game is being played, they capture the DirectX API calls and create a second camera view while the game is being played. This left and right view is, in, is then passed onto the 3D display and you get this full stereoscopic 3D experience. Now at this time, the best stereoscopic 3D drivers include DDD's Tridef Ignition drivers and NVIDIA's GeForce 3D Vision drivers. There are other options in the market, but these are the best at this time. Now, as far as hardware choices are concerned, uh, LCD shutter glasses are really the most popular choice at this time. And I have to tell you, the shutter glasses have really innovated within the last year. The, they have a new technique that makes them a lot brighter and competitive with polarized. It used to be that shutter glasses were a lot darker than polarized 3D solutions, and that's no longer the case. The glasses have also dropped in price in a really big way. It used to be a couple hundred dollars to buy a pair of, of glasses for a 3D display. Now you could easily buy an extra pair for, for under a hundred dollars. So it's, it's, it's really become a, a, an affordable technology. Now let me tell you about some of the, the camps, or the two big camps in, in, in the 3D world. The first is AMD HD 3D. So of course AMD is a big uh, graphics card and a CPU manufacturer, and they don't actually make 3D glasses, and they don't make 3D displays, but they do create the infrastructure that makes it possible to support 3D through their graphics card. Now, uh, what they do is they primarily support 3D through DisplayPort 1.2, which is the latest uh, you know, Visa DisplayPort connector, as well as HDMI. Now, their solution, or their graphics cards, are compatible with DDD and IC3D. So granted, though, I still recommend DDD as, as, as a, a more reliable solution at this time. Now, to get 1080p 3D gaming, you need to use the DisplayPort connector on AMD graphics cards. And of course, uh, DisplayPort in this case requires an AMD graphics card to work. Now, AMD is a, you know, has, has several display partners, but, but one partner we're going to feature today is, is Samsung. This is a Samsung SyncMaster S23A 750D monitor. We'll just call it the SyncMaster for short. This is a 23-inch display. It includes a display port as well as HDMI connector, and it's bundled with DDD's Tridef Ignition stereoscopic 3D drivers. The, uh, now, just to know though, if you want to benefit from full 1080p 3D gaming, you will need to use the display port connector. HDMI supports 3D as well, but you will not be able to attain as high a resolution or as high a frame rate uh, through, that, through, through that option. And you will also need to have an AMD 5000, 6000 or later graphics card. Uh, if you don't have that, it's likely that you won't have the right display, or you won't have a display port connector that's compatible, and you'll be out of luck. So stick with a modern AMD graphics card to play it safe. Now, my opinion of this display, I find that it's, it's bright, it's comfortable, and there's very little crosstalk or bleed through between the left and right view. So it's a, I think it's quite good. I do find the color temperature is a little bit cold, I'd almost call it a little bit drab in 3D. Uh, and I find the, the best solution around this is with the AMD Catalyst drivers. You, you could warm the temperature up a bit, you could, you know, you could in, in, increase the, you know, you could adjust the color temperature in the Catalyst driver so that you can make it look a bit better. Now, one thing that, that's good are, uh, also are the glasses. It includes one pair of 3D glasses, also manufactured by Samsung. One thing that I thought was really neat about these glasses is they're based on Bluetooth. So normally shutter glasses are based on an infrared technology, which means that you always have to be in sight of the, of the display 100% of the time. And it's also problematic with infrared is that if you have more than one 3D display in the room, 
uh, you could easily lose syn synchronization. Bluetooth completely avoids that by ensuring that the glasses are always in sync with the display. Now, in this case, maybe it's a disadvantage too, is that the glasses run on 2025 batteries, which means that after 70 hours of use, uh, that's the estimated length of time you could get out of the batteries, you'll need to change the batteries. So you should always keep a supply of these batteries around. It's a bit of a pain. But, uh, and if you want to buy additional pairs of glasses, they are $70 a pair. Now, uh, for $10 more, or for $80, according to Samsung's website, you could actually get glasses that are rechargeable through the USB port. So there are other options beyond the, the model that, that comes with the, the solution. Now, uh, just some, some side notes about the display itself is you'll notice that the bezel doesn't really have buttons. It's actually a touch interface on the bezel itself. They're not buttons. It's actually, it picks up the sensation of your finger. And it also includes 2D, 3D conversion. I'm not a big fan of 2D, 3D conversion, but it's really not too bad. If you have a, if you have a DVD or a Blu-ray that you want to play, or if you have games that you, you know, can't run in 3D otherwise, you know, this is an option, but it, it still doesn't match up with the real thing. There are some minor quirks with the display, you know, minor bugs in the interface, but it, it's nothing that, I, 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 that would get in the way of me purchasing a display like this. It really is quite good. Now the MSRP is $450 US. For $600 US you can get a slightly brighter 27 inch version as well. So you know, the, the, you, can, you can get this in a bigger size. Now something to be aware of for this unit. Do not buy generic glasses. In this case definitely you have to get Samsung Bluetooth compatible, actually Samsung Bluetooth glasses. Uh, if you try one of the third parties that are based on infrared, it's just, it's not going to work. Now, let's take a look at the NVIDIA cam. So, uh, NVIDIA has actually been around for, for some time for sure. I mean, they're one of the, actually they are perhaps the original pioneer when it comes to stereoscopic 3D gaming. And within the last year, they just recently updated their NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision to NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision 2 glasses. Now, uh, something to be aware of with NVIDIA glasses, they will only work with NVIDIA graphics cards. Uh, now, if we, if we were to compare, these are the original NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision glasses, and these are the new glasses. We'll see that the lenses are bigger, the, you know, the, the tips or the, the arms of the glasses are, are more comfortable. They've got some rubber pads to, that it grips onto your, your head a bit easier. Um, they've, really, they've really done some design work to make it a more comfortable experience. Now, I would also say that, and, and we'll go into how this is done, that it's not really the glasses that are responsible for this, but they also have a new shuttering technique of, of making the glasses work that makes them significantly brighter than before. But you need a, you need a, a special monitor that supports what they call light boost technology. Now, to my, to my right is the ASUS VG278H monitor. This is a 27 inch 3D display. Something I thought was really neat about this is it has a, a height adjustment as well, which I thought was a nice polished advantage. Uh, now this isn't based on Bluetooth like the Samsung. In this case, it's got a built-in infrared emitter. It works with the glasses. Now instead of DisplayPort, in this case, NVIDIA has chosen dual link DVI connectors, which are unique to NVIDIA graphics cards, and the HDMI 1.4 connector, which is a recognized industry standard. Now, if you have the money, uh, I always recommend it. Bigger is obviously better, and because the bigger the screen you have, the more effective the 3D will be. So, and when, when the light boost technology is used, I find that the image is colorful and you can, you can actually, one of the big advantages, and, and this is more for the NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision users, is you can actually see the keyboard now when you're using the glasses, whereas before it was more difficult. Um, now just to point out though, call it light boost, call it what you will, NVIDIA, AMD, in my opinion, they're using very much the same technology because by accident I was actually using the NVIDIA glasses with, with this display and I was able at the same time to see this display in 3D. So the shuttering technique is same, 
uh, under a different name. So overall, I'd say the industry has innovated. Now there is some crosstalk and, and ghosting with the NVIDIA solution, but just with some contrast adjustments, uh, it really, most of it will go away. And I think you'd be very happy with the display. Now it does come with one pair of, of NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision 2 glasses. Um, and again, if you need full 1080p games, they will only work with NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision drivers through their connector. And of course, it's, it, their software is well supported. Now the monitor itself is about $700 MSRP. And uh, if you need additional glasses, again, I think they're very affordable, about $100 for additional glasses. Now, if you already own 3D Vision glasses, so and then when I'm talking about 3D Vision glasses, in this case I'm talking about the originals, don't throw them out because what they will do is they will still work with this monitor and they, you will get the same level of brightness and clarity as you would with the brand new glasses. So the new glasses obviously are better because they have bigger lenses and are more comfortable. But it's backwards compatible, so nothing's going to waste here. And uh, now, something to be aware of though, and, and I, I really hope that fellow gamers don't make this mistake, don't buy generic glasses thinking that they're going to work with this solution. Even though it's based on infrared, it's a completely different technique than what's been used up to date. So uh, you'll buy them and they just, they literally, they won't work. So wait, if there is a third party manufacturer out there, wait till they come out with a new revision that acknowledges that they support this technique, but not until then. Now, there is another option on the market, and that is polarized displays and glasses. And th these tend to be interlaced, which means that 50% of the resolution is used for the left eye, 50% for the right. Now, uh, they, in my opinion, they're no longer that much brighter than, than shutter glasses, given that the, you know, the updates in both the AMD and the NVIDIA cap, the differences are, aren't as pronounced. Um, however, companies like Zalman and Hyundai make 3D monitors like this, and this is an example of the Zalman 24-inch 3D display. One of the big advantages, which is one of, one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite monitors, is it equally works with DVD as well as NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision drivers. Now, uh, it does include two pairs of glasses, one like this as well as a clip-on if you wear glasses like myself, but it's not necessary. Uh, it currently MSRPs for, for $650 US, and if you want to buy extra glasses, it's $25 a pair. I'm not quite sure if it's still being sold though, because some stores listed as not being in stock, even though Zelma still lists it on its site. So you may want to explore it a bit. If it's still on sale, I'd recommend buying it because it really is a, a worthwhile purchase. Now, if you need extra glasses, uh, the real D 3D glasses will work, meaning those glasses that you get in 3D movie theaters that are polarized, but the Zalman glasses are actually much better. You'll get a much clearer image and the colors will look much better with the Zalman glasses than they would with the real D version. Now, final recommendations if you're a PC gamer, get a powerful machine. Uh, and if for NVIDIA, I would recommend lo no less than a, a, a GeForce 400 series graphics card. And again, with AMD, you need that 6000 series card anyway if you want to game with uh, display port connectivity. Um, now, if you want maximum compatibility, NVIDIA supports SLI, which means multiple graphics cards. Uh, DVD, it's still a work in progress, so I would recommend a powerful single card for the most compatibility with, with DVD drivers on, on an AMD platform. And actually with NVIDIA as well, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Now, as far as recommended size, I, bigger is better, 23, 24 inches, so that's a very good size for 3D. And uh, even though, uh, let, let me just say marketing isn't everything, the, the, the driver developers like to promote that their software is compatible with hundreds of games, and they list games, games, games. I would actually recommend going with an independent source because you will get inconsistent results otherwise. So we actually have a service called GameGrade3D.com. It's community driven. It's a community driven database of, of, of video games and their compatibility with the different software solutions. DVD and NVIDIA are both equally supported as well as other options in the market like HD3D which is native 3D support. 
Um, and I would also recommend that you know when making your purchase, it's not that much money to buy this software. You should you should buy a license for uh, both NVIDIA as well as DVD drivers if they're compatible with what you're using. And that's pretty much it. So uh, next up in our final segment, we're going to talk about 3D on mobile devices. So thanks for watching.